Hey everybody, special guest here, Hawk versus Wolf, Alyssa Steamer's here! Woo! Yeah! THPS Stop. alumni. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Uh, we kind of just went through this a second yeah. ago. Oh, we're not, but we're gonna we're, we're gonna do it again. We're not gonna do it again. We're gonna okay. we're gonna go we're gonna go elsewhere. I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. We've already covered that. All three of us are surf gurus. I, well, I asked. So he, oh, I started the conversation when you walked in because I know you were going deep into surfing. Yeah. In recent years, and I said, yeah. "Oh, are you still? Are, you know, have you been surfing?" And you're like, "I don't surf anymore." Right. But, but then but I then corrected you, said, you by saying, "But then you said only bull for a month." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't surfed in a month, and I consider myself still a surfer. So. Okay. Do you surf because you can still go pretty hard? and you can't go as hard as on skateboarding or can you still go as hard as you've ever gone on a skateboard yeah no i can't go as hard right, as so I've you're ever like gone on where i'm at where it's like you know i can skate but i can't do what i used to do no way i know i want I mean, to though. I'm, I'm my, my brain can no, skate, i know but... that's the worst part <laughs> i know but are you skating like for fun leisurely or transportation what do you mean? I mean, I skate, you skate. all okay. the time. All right, I'm, I'm out in the streets. That's what's up. You're, you're, you're doing I mean, it. I was outside from 11 a.m. till 6 p.m. the other day, sitting downtown San Francisco. Right. Skating around wow. Union Square, then skated downtown. With a crew? Yeah, all the goons. Awesome. Yeah. All Big the goons, shout out to it. the goons. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, I stay in the streets. That's really I tried cool. to. It's hard. Yeah. People respect you for it, though. Because of this I show, so. I talk to a lot of people, and <laughs> you're up there. Like, people, you've inspired a lot of people, not just women. You've inspired a lot of people in a way where, oh, I, I, I swear, yeah. I catch it from these people, that your hardcore, your drive is like a thing that a lot of other new girls talk about where they know like you put in work you don't stop ever like like the great yeah Alyssa Steamer, i swear oh, come on um, i think yeah. it's awesome i mean it's yeah it's important i think it's important to remain like active and and be you know in the streets try to be relevant try I mean, to be you relevant you know what i mean and like you know obviously i can't do what i once could yeah but I can do a version of what I once yeah, could, sure, which yeah. is still pretty satisfying to me. And I as long think, as nobody's like, hang that shit up, I'm good. You know what I mean? It just looks like a skateboarder. Like I remember when I first met you drunk as hell in Tampa in that crappy hotel. And I remember thinking, <laughs> you know, I, I was hardcore. I don't have time for anyone who isn't. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like immediately I was like, this person is yeah. on this is yeah. as hardcore as it gets. Absolutely. And that was yeah. at a time when there were very little, there was very little support yeah, right. and resources for, for female skaters. I mean, to put it that way. Or skateboarding in general. Or, or skateboarding in general, but for sure you were the absolute minority. Yeah. And it must have felt very isolating. No. It no, because you, I know. Because no, you were in no, the mix. because people she like him welcomed me. Yeah. Everybody yeah. loved me. It was like, great. Because I think they knew that I was, you know, as psycho as they were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was there to like just live that life and yeah. party and skate. So. Yeah, she wasn't not at just only at the contest. She was like the when it gets oh, down to like I'm the not, last couple of I crazy wasn't questioning people. her character. I was <laughs> no, that was more talking but about I feel the like, state of things. I know, yeah, but I right, feel right. like it's someone else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. At, yeah. I feel like someone else. Industrial girl. wise. What's that? Industri industry wise. Industry wise. Yeah. Yes. It was little it was, resources. It would have been very hard to make a living or to make a name for yourself, really. Was it a smooth transition? Like when you were coming up and you weren't as uh, respected or you were like when you first started getting sponsors, was it like sponsor? Like you're a girl. Like was there any of that? Uh, no, never. Just always, yeah, you're shredding. 
Oh, you're on. yeah, always. I mean, I didn't get sponsored until I was probably 17 or 18, which is kind of late to the game, I think, because I was like stuck in Florida. Yeah. But when I got on Toy Machine, I rode for a couple people, like Lance Mountain sent me boards. Sick. And uh, Mickey sent me real boards for a while. But then when Ed put me on Toy Machine, Mark Waters sent me a box that was like, you remember Poot? The company Poot yeah. had like girls kick ass and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Mark Waters, RIP, love him so much. Uh, he sent me a box of like girls kick ass boards. Yeah. And so I had to call Jamie and be like, hey, I don't know what happened, but uh, I think he sent me the wrong box just because I'm a girl. He sent me these boards and so they had to talk to him. So he sent me another box, you know. <laughs> Like, like this is not like a girl's kick-ass scene. Like, yeah. You know, she's yeah, like she just, she riding for a toy escape. machine. Just, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. a toy machine. This is legit. Yeah, yeah. I want to be treated yeah, like everyone yeah. else, right? Yeah. I think that's very cool. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's just my life, so I don't know if it's cool or not. You know what I mean? But Yeah, I was, you weren't trying to make a statement. It was a matter of fact. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Just, yeah, I was just trying to live. That's, that's so what you are, though. You, you are what you, you're not. How do you still look exactly the same? <laughs> Thank I you. I'm yeah, right? serious. Really? I don't know why. Yes. I don't know why you look the same. I haven't oh, seen no, you. I haven't I'm seen Jason old. in 20 years. I accept it. Probably. Yeah. Wow. Easily. Yeah. Wow. I think the last memory I have of you is. Did I have hair? Yes. Yeah. Is maybe drinking on a boat. Yeah. You can just in Australia. It yeah. Just I don't remember, but I mean. Big day out. They would have a boat at the end of the tour, and that was when Infectious Grooves played on the oh, boat wow. and Pennywise. But is that what always, that was? Yeah, good times. That's that's pretty major. And that was like when skate is like you're allowed on the boat, yeah, and everything is free. So every skateboarder <laughs> when I did is big on day the boat. Out, we're on the boat, yeah. When yeah, I, yeah. When I did Big Day Out, it, I think it was '96. I, I we were definitely treated to second class because we were the skaters. Yeah, we were like the pre-show. And then we got invited to the last night, yeah. the beach party. And we're like, us? Like, yeah. <laughs> us, right? Yeah, you, you can tell. Me, we're the only excited people at the Thorne. party. Oh, yeah, These yeah, yeah. Guys. Totally. Okay, everybody else, like, everybody else is like, I've seen this a million times. Yeah. We're like, free beer? Yeah. Like, all these beers? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, but it's been a while since I've seen you. Yeah. And it's good to see you again. It's good to see you, my friend. And I see you randomly here and there. Every once in a while, yeah. Which is nice. Yeah, it is. Jason. Yeah? Summer is coming. Yeah. I'm getting ready. It's not like winter is coming. Summer is coming. Yeah. I don't. I know winter is coming sounds cool, but I like the sound of when someone says summer's coming much, much more. All right. That's good because Manscaped is here to ensure your body is ready with their game-changing full body grooming and hygiene products. Yes. It's time to get ready for hot guy summer. Hell yeah. <laughs> hot by, guys. Am I going, right? By going to manscaped.com. I love hot guys. Wait, I do. <laughs> this is confusing. I hope to be on one day. Yeah, don't give up. Tony, totally stick with me. 20% off and free shipping with the code HAWKWOLF. Manscaped is dedicated to helping you increase your confidence and level up your full body grooming game with the Performance Package 4.0. Holy crap, we're hot, guys. This kit comes with the lawnmower 4.0, waterproof body trimmer, and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your grooming routine. Far out. The trimmer features a ceramic blade designed to cut hair on loose skin and to reduce grooming accidents thanks to advanced skin safe technology. Escape. It means it won't cut your balls. <laughs> yes. You'll also find the Manscaped Crop Preserver, Ball Deodorant, and Crop Reviver, Ball Toner. Woo! <laughs> an anti-chaving ball deodorant and moisturizer. I never thought I'd say those words. No one likes nose hair. Their package also comes with a Weed Whacker 2.0. You also get two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the patented High Performance Reduced Chafing Manscaped Boxers. <laughs> if you're yeah. wearing sandals, you need to get the Manscaped Shears 2.0 Nail Kit. You also need to get some shoes or something. What the <laughs> hell? Sandals. Well, if you are wearing sandals, then you'll, your nails will look nice. Stop crocking. <laughs> All right. I'm Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Get 20% off of free shipping with the code HAWKWOLF at manscaped.com. And I'm Tony. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code HAWKWOLF at manscaped.com. 
trim your chesticles with the besticles. <laughs> you said chesticles. I made that up. <laughs> no, totally made that up. I was just on the fly. Um, Where do you guys bump into each other? Mm, we bumped into each other at a skate park for a Tony Hawk uh, pro skater game. We had a reunion. Release uh, thing. We had a reunion. Um, that was in 20... I'll walk past him 20... on first class every now and then and <laughs> playing. Oh <my> God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I had a dog for every time I've done that, that's a good point. <laughs> Uh, yeah. They're just miles upgrades. That's yeah, all sure, it is. Sure. I just collect a lot of miles. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. I bet you do, actually. <laughs> I do. I have a lot. Who's your yeah, allegiance to? You don't have to say it on air if you don't. Uh, no, I'm mostly United. Same. Yeah. because I'm, I'm gold status right now. I'm it's trying because to work they used my way to, up to platinum. That's what's oh, up. There you go. It's because yeah. they used to fly to Carlsbad. Yeah. And I lived in Carlsbad, so yeah. it was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, they're a big it, SF but, hub, too. Yeah but, yeah, but they don't have Carlsbad anymore. So. Oh, really? Hmm. But I, I worked my way up and so million I'm miles? giving it two. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Imagine that. You million miles? <laughs> no, I, I got a job. Yeah. I had I moved to LA and did a radio show Monday to Friday. On XM. For Sirius. over 15 yeah. years. Something like that. So I lost yeah. my uh you were staying, my traveling life. Put. Yeah. yeah. It's starting to come back. I mean, I already live a different life because of this podcast. I skate again. Uh, really yeah and i drive i because i go down to san diego a lot i have my skate friends are like you know every now and then we'd say hello to each other on social media and stuff but now i see people again that i yeah. haven't hung out with yeah. so there's a, there's a vert collective down in our area yeah and in i get area. this feeling yeah. that vertical they're my, greatness here <laughs> they're my real friends you know yeah. like when i when i'm back down there i'm like dude how did you do that? Like, how did you just live in LA by yourself and become friends with radio people? Like, those people how suck did you? Because I what is to. a radio person? It's Who a no is it? It's a, uh, DJs. It's just a normal person. D DJs. DJs. Yeah. Okay. They're not like bad. big boy in the morning or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was more like there was a. It was a different breed at Sirius XM. It wasn't yeah. FM. It was. It was Wait, did you different. do Sirius XM? Yeah, show? he That's got me into it. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. You guys like best friends or something? We're friends. Okay. Wait, <laughs> that sounded kind of... <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> like we were I think we are, we are very close friends. Yeah. That's yes, great. Right? Yeah. Is that fair? Yeah, it's man. Fair to say so. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, I, would, I would say we're, we're, we're among the best of friends, but we don't live in the same area. We're not hanging out all the time. That, no. that was my... You that was my Los hesitation Angeles? to the answer. Yeah. I apologize for yeah. sounding. <laughs> yeah, it was a little Jason's bit. Jason's a little Ooh. hurt. Oh, I, I can see it. <laughs> it's okay. We, I know we love each other. Okay. It's okay. Good. Yeah. We, and it's funny because our relationship has become one that we don't talk a lot outside of this, just so we save it for this. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. So we might just go into our own thing here. Okay, you do just your thing. Listen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so how did you get into skating? I don't know that story. I mean, really? Probably from a BMX mag or something, maybe. Really? Like... Did you BMX? Who didn't? Yeah, good point. Were you ever on a team? Nah, like a on... racing team? Yeah, I was on a team. No, nah, I wanted Bayside to be. Bayside BMX team. Wow. Yeah. What town is that Shout from? Out. What? What town is Bayside BMX from? In Melbourne. From? It's in Sandringham on the Bay. You from Melbourne? Yeah, mate. I'm talking about. I so haven't you, been back. <laughs> I have. I don't go anymore. I miss my brother and stuff. I just so. passed up a trip to Melbourne like in February. You did? Yeah. Why you still travel? They weren't going to get me a first class ticket. I can't sit economy for fifty dollars. Hey. <laughs> good, good move. You yeah. know what I mean? A flex. I feel you. I yeah. can't do it. Yep. Yeah. I can't do it. It is a rowdy. And I mean, once you, you know, I, I, I did a plenty. I'm not saying. No, I know. I'm We're on the elitist. same page. Once you've Did been a plenty, in the pod, but once you taste that, you you're like, can't yeah, to go yeah. back is the worst part, right? Especially yeah. if you're you're going because someone asked you to for yeah. a job. It's not yeah, not yeah. that you're just going on your own accord. Yeah, yeah, totally. that's a different that's it a different is. type it of is. approach. It is for sure. Um, but yeah, that's how I started skating. Th probably from seeing something. Skating was huge. I mean, we're talking eighty three, eighty wow, yeah, eighty four. I'm a veteran. Eighty three, eighty four. You know, Schmidt Stick ATV was huge. Were, you were kind of huge. Were there, there was a uh, lot going on. W was there a crew? A crew. I mean, of was skaters. A, yeah, that's how you. Yeah, fell into I mean, it. every yeah, every kid in every my kid. school was either BMXing, 
skateboarding or riding. You remember when Mongoose had those little push scooters? Yeah. Kind of with the dirt wheels, yeah. but like a push scooter. Yeah. Or doing that. So it was huge. There was a bike shop by my house. But what was the thing that, you know, a lot of people got into it because it was popular. What was the thing that made you go past that into the, you know, I, yeah. I, I, I eat shit like all the time and yeah. I'm good with it. Cause I know a lot of people, right. girls and guys yeah. are like, Oh man, that I didn't know it was that yeah, much. People are like, Oh, I hit my elbow and I, or, you know, yeah. broke my arm and I never and I did quit. it again. Yeah. What was the like, thing well, it wasn't for you in the first place? What was the place, thing you think you, <laughs> yes. you had that, that made you persevere? Oh man. Well, I think, I mean, just stepping on a board the first time I could like ride it and tic tac uh. and like try to do a 360. You know what I mean? So, First time. Yeah, I could just like stand on it. Yeah. So obviously I had good balance and um, I was super uh, different and awkward and rebellious and I loved sports. I loved baseball, football, basketball, but it didn't seem like um, those were hard to do. You know, and riding a skateboard was accessible. Even though I didn't have enough money to get one, I had a friend in my apartment complex that had one, and I would borrow it every once in a while. No way. Yeah. So how'd you get the how'd you get the cash for your first board? My dad bought it for me. Because you'd been riding that other one so much that he knew it was for real. No, not he wasn't around, so he but didn't you know anything. About it. Oh. <laughs> um. He wasn't around, so he didn't know anything, but he, he would come around for my birthday and buy me a board and for Christmas. So the first board I got was at uh, Champs Sporting Goods Store, yeah. and it was a Veriflex. Yeah, with a me whole... too. Really? Yeah, I had a Veriflex wide glide. I, think I went straight from a Veriflex. Like, it had, like, graffiti on a brick wall. It might have yeah. been called graffiti. I don't yeah. know, but so I had gang. that. Wanted a Powell. Yeah, me too. Wanted a Powell. Not happening. Got the complete Veriflex from Champ Sports. And then uh, as a compromise, my dad bought me a Powell sticker for $1. It's pretty close. Um, and yeah. so I threw that right on top of the deck there. Yeah. <laughs> and told everybody it was a Powell. I yeah. did the same thing. You my, did? My first board was a swap meet. My first like real professional looking skateboard. Yeah. My dad bought a swap meet. Yeah. And I wanted a Sims. So he bought me a big Sims sticker and yeah. I put it on the bottom. Compromise. And I, and I yeah. told people that it was a Sims pro prototype. Uh, uh, an Andrek prototype. Like nice. you made it. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. And then No, so like I got it from the factory. I got it from the Sims factory before it got screened. Such Sick. a liar. The lies such little liar. kids come up yeah. with. <laughs> I said, tell people my tree in my backyard was a spaceship. Like, honestly. Yeah. The unnecessary We're talking four lies. years old or whatever. Like, who but, cares? Yeah. But still. But so what board did you get that was good? What was your first good board? A uh, Powell Peralta um, Skull and Sword, right? Okay, which oh, was uh, yep. Bones Rodriguez Bones board, Rodriguez. but it didn't yep. have his name yep. on it anymore, yep. so it was just called Skull and Sword. Mine was the Lance Mountain. I got a signature Lance Mountain. I think it might have come out right when I had like enough. I the one with hopped. the people walking up the mountain or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the future primitive. Future, yeah, primitive, future primitive, exactly. Thing. Yeah, what a great board. Would they, they get the tape that? So the so the top graphic is clear grip tape. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So it completely stands out, like the you know the pal the dragon oh, yeah. logo. Oh yeah, oh like yeah. You, get, you had to have that. Yeah. Have you, have you guys heard of Pizza Grip? Pizza Grip. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a gen, I'm one generation before you guys, but there was a grip tape called Cut Pizza Your grip, Hands, right? And it was so rough. It was. It's like shards all over it. Shards. It was like glass shards. Yeah. You remember your, the clear yeah, grip tape yeah. back yeah. in the day? It was like shards. That was pretty rough too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I used to tape Pizza my thumbs grip. because it would wear the skin off. Oh yeah, grip tape thumb. I still actually. Yeah. I have it all the time. Day. Yeah. Especially when I come down here, the weather. You get it so dry so you, here. My like whole life falls apart. You get it from grabbing. From grabbing the board, like spanking front side airs or something. I don't know. No, you, you, <laughs> I just get that's it from, the thing. Like, we get like I get grip tape thumb. Down. I get grip tape thumb from inverts. Like, Wait, from, from my holding thumb bleeds from holding from holding inverts. Oh, okay. Because that's like where I hold it. The, like, ah. yeah, because all the all the leverage is on your thumb on the grip type side, and you're holding it for so long that you're just like after a while it just starts to bleed through. Like I, I have a callus right there. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume. 
they look at the problem in a different way. Instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative award-nominated device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. You get it? Instead of bad, Fume is good. Not bad meaning bad, but bad meaning good. Well, it's good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. It tastes more flavorful than I thought. It feels very fresh. Uh, it's also very fun to play with and it looks nice. I feel cool using it. You look cool. You do? No, that's not true, but yeah. I think you look cool. It is fun to fidget with though. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories. And there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use the code WOLF and save 10% when you get the journey pack to Dizzy. That's T-R-Y-F-U-M.com and use code WOLF to save an additional 10% off your order today. No discount for Hawk. Yeah. Are you an invert guy? Fun fact. I used to be, and then when I got cool and started doing kickflip indies, I stopped doing them. Oh. And then when I came back after not skating for 10 years, I wanted to do those again. So I, I can't really do much right now, but I can do eggplants again, and I can do really cracky, crappy inverts because when I first started trying to do them again, it was like maybe a couple of weeks in, and I got knocked out on one. Like I just didn't wow. know where I was and still came in thinking it was okay and over rotated and broke, like I snapped my helmet. Like, like I was, wow. he, I remember like- It was bad. I, I was like, why is Tony Hawk here? I was worried about, <laughs> I was worried about sending him home that day. Wow. Yeah, we had to hang out a little bit before I drove yeah, just to yeah. make sure I was there. Yeah, for sure. But that made me a little uh, hesitant to stall out a hair plant. <laughs> Like yeah, I, I, I go to get up there now. I'm yeah. like, I look like I feel like I can see yeah. where I'm going, but I, so did I. I thought that in the, that other one. So. Yeah, I remember yeah, these days. Yeah, yeah. I really want to. It's one of those things, skate and vert, where I think you got to be there uh, like continuously a little yeah. bit. And I always, it's like once a week kind of thing. And, yeah, yeah. And I've always got a lot on my plate, and yeah. maybe I didn't sleep that well, and I'm like, well, I'm here, I may as well right. try. And it's I, I, I'm a little wobbly. And then when you get wobbly and you still push it. It's no fun. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing about skateboarding. You got to like do it all the time or else yeah. you're scared of it. And Stay when you're loose. scared of it, it's no yeah. fun. Yep. I'm did kind of ever, in that pocket. Did you ever get into ramps at all? Transition? Well, like knee slide? Did you ever knee slide? Yeah. You did? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, you know. With knee pads. Where I'm from, there's like no skate park, no ramp when I was a kid. And they always had this like rumor of building a skate park at Lakes Park and we'd hear about it all the time and it never happened but when this Tampa park opened me and my friends would like take the two-hour bus ride up to Tampa Sick. and like stay up for the weekend and skate and that's back when you know there was a lot of people there skating vert and uh, that was I mean, remember that was when the vert ramp was originally yep. Yep. In the, the first spot. I love that ramp. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I mean, that was at, at some point the epicenter of vert skating because exactly. it was so scattered everywhere. We had a couple in California, but there was a crew that lived yeah. in Florida. Yeah. And there were some people from North yeah. Carolina, yeah. from all, Pennsylvania, Paul's everyone. Frazier, Frazier, we would all converge all there yeah. all the time. Yeah, it was yeah. amazing. Yeah. And I would just like sit there and watch all these people just destroy that vert ramp. But yeah, I used to pad up. I couldn't bust really hard. I mean, Feeble fakey, board slide it's pretty fakey. Good. That's it's probably legit. my best thing. Yeah. Board slide fakey? Board slide fakey. Best trick I I've mean, ever done. I, I see. Hand. You said feeble see. grind though, right? No, feeble stall. Oh, okay. Fakey. Either one is hard. Yeah. But I, 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 I see legit pros still struggle with board slide to fakies. It's a scary trick. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> I'm not naming names. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, actually, it wasn't you. It was the other. Oh. other. Let's say others that in that Salt Lake City event that we went to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now you know what I'm talking about. Right. But I can't make fun of that person because I have a hurt back right now. and it was From that. From that yep. trick. 
Oh, really? From the board side baggie? I just, I bonked my wheels and I jumped mm, off. Yeah. And I just still, because I'm old, I, when I hit my butt on the ramp, my back was like, nah, we're not doing that. You don't look old. You guys both look great, by the way. Yeah, we're on steroids. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> do, you do you feel the effects of age? Absolutely. I, 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 know you, I know you're saying like, oh, I can't do those tricks anymore, but I'm talking yeah, about like. No, I feel, yeah, my knees like, are like. Does your Not neck in and your back hurt, pain. your knee hurts. My, knee, my yeah. knees are my issue. Okay. Because I've had four knee surgeries, so my knees are my issues. Mm-hmm. Everything else in my body is great. Was it ACL? No. Just all meniscus and uh, microfracture stuff. Uh, meniscus. One did, on did this your meniscus one, three get, on this one. Did your meniscus get, get caught between stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's so painful. Excuse yeah, and you're you just stuck. I, 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 yeah. I was at a grocery. No, I was at a department store in Tokyo when I kneeled down to look at something in a glass case, and I was stuck there. Yeah, <laughs> I crawl. I'd like, yeah. and I'm already a freak in Tokyo. I had to crawl to the stairwell. Yeah, and figure out what my next move was. Oh, that's funny. Because my knee but was stuck like like that. But it's like excruciating while it's happening. It right? was yeah, Any and I never, I had no idea. I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, and I figured out this way to kick my leg sideways and release it yeah and so that went on for a while yeah but mine was like getting in a car getting out of car any like sideways motion with a knee or like sleeping in the middle of the night and i'd like move my leg locked in <sighs> oh it's excruciating wow yeah do you remember that was that just gradual or was there a specific injury that you remember well happening? Uh, one of them was an injury, like bombing a hill, power slide, and like sort of like new wheels, brand new wheels on Dolores and like power slide. And then when I went back, it kind of over rotated because they're so slick. And so I ran out and like, as I was running, I just like, you know, kind of straight legged it or something, I guess. And that was the, yeah, first one on the right knee. But then after that, I was just wear and tear, you know? I can't, I, I mean, I, I do believe it, but I'm just really impressed that you're just out in the streets still, as Thanks. much as you are. I know. I think it's weird sometimes I'll be like, sometimes I'll take the bus downtown or something like that just so I'll have a skateboard and I won't have to park or anything. Uh, oh, actually, I crashed my car, so I don't even have a car right now. But uh, You're my, a bad driver? Or was no, this just a one-off? I feel I'm an excellent driver. Honestly. Okay, I want to say it was a one-off. But I've been in two, I've totaled two cars in three years. That's, that's, that's a, you would think I was a bad driver. You would. One Unlucky. wasn't my fault. One, none I, of them were your I fault. I don't want to say not my fault. Like, one, a guy, like, seriously, I was doing like 40 down the street and a guy just took a left right into me. Yeah. So I had like, I couldn't do anything. And the next one was technically my fault because it was a rear ender. But I think, I don't think they had brake lights. Mm. Oh, and now they're going to say that you broke the brake lights if they're not working. Rear end, doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. If yeah, you have a race car. And they weren't that bad. It's just the airbags total a car. You, you know what I mean? Can, Once oh, yeah. the airbags go off, it's over. Do you think you could beat us in a go-kart race? I think I'd be a good competition, that's yeah. Pre- that's pretty I mean, I'm competitive statement. and I like doing stuff. He's pretty stuff. good. He's pretty good. I bet. You're, uh, you're pretty good? I'm, I'm okay, sure. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, he's I'd, pretty good. I, bet. I, I wasn't. I, it, I can honestly. Can we say have a go kart race, like with Alyssa? Can we arrange that? Yeah. <laughs> I like how, I like, it didn't come. That didn't come organically. You just like threw it out there. Like, hey, do you think you could beat us in a go kart race? I think we should find out. Yeah, I think we should go do that. I just wanted to see. She what, made no claims. I just wanted to see I'm what in, level of driving she's at, and that's a you trick question <laughs> to see what her face does when she gets that question. I'll take that to challenge. test if she's, you know, if, she, right. if you're like, hell yeah, I'll destroy you guys. That's a driver. But she was like, yeah, yeah, I would do it, and and you did crash a lot, so you're. Well, yeah. Oh, but I was saying, so Not I'll take fault. the bus sometimes. Yeah, you know, and people are looking at me, and I'm like do I just look like an old person with a skateboard and having an identity crisis right now? You know what I mean? Yeah. That I happens. I, that. I think that all the time. I'm like, are people like just thinking I have an identity crisis right now walking around with a skateboard? You know? Wow. You just made me think, do people think that I'm walking around with my son's skateboard, like waiting for him? Ah, <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Hey, exactly. I, I get that on planes still like, oh, is that your son's? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's mine. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, or the, 
Yeah. I had a woman straight up just be like, I was pulling out of the overhead and she's like, oh, is that yours? <laughs> 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 like that was the biggest joke she could have made. Right, 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 like, right. It, it is. Yeah. It's mine. Yes. Yeah. I feel like. It's crazy. Skateboarding is uh, a creative kind of childish sport. And if you still have one when you're older, you're closer to living than dying. Cause that's a great you, sentiment. You have agreed this childish like yeah uh, You're urge playing. to yeah you to play. you play and you still like get hurt because the older you get, I find like when I hurt myself, I uh, like an old me goes, you know, Jason, you know, how much longer do you want to go through this? And then I have to remind myself like this is you've always done this like yeah, and when it's not happening, you feel weird. So, Absolutely. You know, is it like the greatest sport choice for for longevity of your body? No, but I'm a, I'm a big baby and I'm proud of it. Like I want to play with my toys yeah, until same. I die. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Do you uh, when you're in town? Do you connect? I know you're in NorCal. Uh, do when you're in town? Do you connect with the Baker crew? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I've been texting with them all day. Yeah, I'm gonna go <laughs> skate awesome. with them tomorrow. Wow. Me, Andrew, Spanky, whoever. Oh, my God. We're going to fly on the wall for that session. That's right. so sick. <laughs> That's the holy fields right there. You guys are the real deal. Oh, stop. It is. I feel like, and I took a huge break, but I feel like when I'm skating vert with those guys, I'm like, the generations uh, that we've all been through, like, we're, there's, like, little people there, but we've been through yeah, there, so there much eight. together. Yeah. We've got kids, like... Kevin Stubb's kid has a beard. You know, like I, remember, I remember skating with Kevin Stubb when he didn't have a kid. He had a beard. You know, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. I'm he like, found out he was having a baby on the gigantic skate park tour. That's right. And, and we thought, I thought I was an adult when that happened. Right. And right. now there's this new phase where I'm like, oh, we're like knocking on granddad's door. Like, we're old. Yeah. And it's okay. And it's okay, yeah. It's yeah. it's awesome. Like I, I don't. I think it means more to me now because it's, it's. Well, never so true was the phrase "youth is wasted on the young." Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Because if I could have this brain and that body, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> we do have a we have a rather wide swath of ages. Right. Um, and backgrounds of my ramp, it's it's pretty fun. I mean Yeah, I bet there's ten year olds spinning five forties, there are fifty year olds. Yeah, and it's not this Bailing isn't like boards. a good thing, but <laughs> salad grinding the gap. There's people you know, that and, are and some hurt. bailing backboards, yes. <laughs> we're getting hurt out there still, like we were young. So yeah. it's not just we're not just playing skateboarder, you know, like, yeah. like Kevin and Tony have both had broken legs this year. And oh. it's like they're on the ramp flying around. I'm like, most people would quit if they were 18 if that happened. And he's. Yeah, it's it, true. It just means so much more. Like Kevin Staub is freshly back. And, you know, his timing's my, it's not as good as it is when he's on point. And he's in a we demo the other, other day, day pushing we did, it. We did doubles the other day. It doesn't. Yeah, of course did, you did. He did a backside ollie over my frontside hurricane. So he's doing giant. Wait, you have back been skating. I'm back to skating, yeah. 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 Was that footage a, you had the other day from recent or was that? That was throwback? that was like my first sort of that was like my coming out party of I'm back skating. He did a demo. Welcome back. Because I, I was it, it was all leading up to a demo that we had to do in Salt Lake City. Uh huh. But it was it's more of a private event, it's like a VIP thing. So I yeah. wanted to be like, look, I'm I'm doing this now, I'm back. And so I shot a line, a follow line. Sure. Yeah. With Gregson, but um, it took everything I had, yeah, everything I had to get that done. Yeah, it I'm better now much. than I was then. I announced it, and I thought it was particularly awesome that you know, like Tony did a blunt to fakie, and that's oh, the yeah, first yeah. one he's done since. Yeah, scary. He hurt yeah. himself. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> you know, and I, that's the thing. I've never been scared of that trick. Really? Yeah. But then, now you are. Yeah. That yeah. Tricks. I still haven't. I haven't done one since me. the demo. Oh yeah! Like I, I can didn't just throw it back into my repertoire. That's I'm still like, ooh, I don't know. That yeah, trick's he, been scary to me. He always made it look easy them, though. Remember, no, like, like when yeah. he would do them on oh, vert. Yeah. You were probably the first person on vert that did it and didn't need to have somebody film it because you were doing <laughs> it all the time. 
You know, like some of us could do it, but it was like, get the camera out yeah. because <laughs> yeah, I'm going to risk everything yeah. right now. Exactly. Yeah. You, you're doing mini ramps? Yeah. Like yeah. You had good pop, right? Yeah. yeah. I used to be able to pop out of them. Yeah. yeah. But you get that one. But I could out. never bounce all the way in. I was like a back wheels. Oh, you yeah, had to clear it. Yeah. Sort of wheel down, you know, not like, uh, I don't know. You know how people just yeah. smash into yeah. them and ollie out? Us vert dudes, definitely not popping out. We're, no, just, we're, we're just like we're eh. just trying to clear. Yeah. 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 I paid the price for getting lazy on especially on mini ramps. Yeah. Because I'm used to the vert just taking me in. Yeah. And, and it does that, huh? And you it just does. Get yeah. You're not you generally are not yeah. gonna hang up on vert, but because yeah. I have that same technique. Like we <laughs> this is you're pretty funny. Hang I went to uh I went to Belfast, Northern Ireland. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, my wife and I went a few years ago. We went to we got to go visit the set of Game of Thrones, which was sick. Uh, great show. And there's a there's a park there that's actually close to that to the set um, that's under this bridge. And so we just rolled up, and the locals were like, they, they recognized me, and they were just kind of like, whoa. And then I took some cruise around the park for a little bit. There was a little bowl. I did some carves, straight into Blunt Faggy, hung up. <laughs> worse than I've ever hung up in a concrete bowl that's roughly eight, seven or eight feet straight yeah. to the flat. Oh. Like straight to the bottom. Oh. And I remember the collective groan from the locals that were like, dude, like, yeah. is he okay? Like, <laughs> do we, should we do something? And then one guy got on video straight, straight, straight to the ground. Straight to the ground, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tony Hawk ate shit at our yeah. park. Yeah. 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 Yep. He Great. did. Thanks, guys. Appreciate I remember that. doing them on vert where I just got so used to not having to, you don't really have to do much to get it to go back in. So I would just roll up and as soon as my wheels got over the coping, I would just bash it. Yeah. Like I would yeah, go, that's, that's the usual. And it was way, like not right? even really a, it was like not even Super a. Super quick. Yeah. It was like a weird, because you, and then on mini ramps, because of me doing that, they were hard on a mini ramp because. I couldn't get away with that lazy technique. You actually had to ollie in. I was always like more, way more focused. Like I was like, this needs to work. Oh yeah. yeah. No, after that, I didn't hang up ever again. Right. You remembered that? Oh yeah. Vacation. You're yeah. like after that one because I was in I was in a lot of pain <laughs> for the that was the rest of our vacation. Yeah, I it bet. Was kind, it was it was kind of a second honeymoon for us, and I was like, I'm fine. That's okay. Do you think you've slammed on every trick you've ever learned? Uh, I don't know. Have you? Probably, yeah. Probably. I mean, what, what I do you definitely think? slammed learning them, I guess. Yeah, you probably. Yeah. yeah. But even if you made the trick that you learn, you learn at first try or whatever, you get it in five tries and you make it eventually later, yeah, later down yeah, the road. Yeah, for sure. Because I had that thought once in Australia where I locked up on a rock to fakey and I was like, that's got to be it. That's got to be every trick that I've ever done. I slam on. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. That Chalk was the last the one. Fakey. Yeah, like yeah. I remember when I learned it, I made it. So then there should be no more. That trick's There's really a, easy. You should be in the yeah. in the clear, but not one I time. Have the, uh, the other side of that is that there there were tricks that I would take for granted that I knew were dangerous. I knew there were uh, you know they go horribly wrong, but I just had them. Yeah, I had them in my pocket. I could just do them. Yeah, and then I paid the price once, and I quit doing them. Backside, board side. Backside revert. Back, yeah, yeah. Backside, backside disaster. Backside Rocker. revert. Oh, on yeah, vert. that's a, did that's it. A tough I was one. doing it all day, doing it. Yeah, back lip, back revert, and then one time you wheel caught court. my wheels. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, not doing that trick anymore. Never, ever, ever again. Yeah. Uh, same thing that. with a with a rewind grind, but but when you get up on top, like you do it like five zero. I yeah. used to go. I used to go fakey to frontside five zero, come in fakey, right? Yeah. But I was up there. And I would just take it for granted that I could get my wheels in. One time, my board stayed up there, and that was the end. Yeah, <laughs> do it again. <laughs> so, That's so funny how it's like slamming is just part of skateboarding. Yeah. yeah. What was? What do you think? Think back. Like, what? What was something you wanted to do, or some big trick, or set of stairs, or whatever? Where you're like, I don't know. I mean everything. Everything. You know, I what always mean, wanted one, there... to do humongous stuff and like big things, but uh, you know, I was like capped out at ten, what, eleven stairs. You know? What? What was? What was one time where you're like, all right, I'm just gonna get this done you on know, something I kinda big don't that want I to. didn't want to yeah. do. Um, there was this kickflip, probably uh, two thousand three. 
um it's just like a big big four block thing mm -hmm. and it was in the bootleg 3000 video at the end and um I didn't go there for that, but we were there and I was just like skating and I ollied it and it wasn't too bad, you know? And um, so then I just tried to kick flip it and it ended up working out. But first try. First try? No, no, probably, but probably 10, 10 tries, yeah. you know, maybe a little less. But when you were approaching it, you, your mind was like, hmm. Yeah, know. I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. That's amazing. Yeah. And then there have been like ones where I'm like, you know, think I can do something and then I get there and then I try it and I'm like, what am I actually doing right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you just have to like, sorry guys. Yeah. Not today. Yeah. But a good thing is lining up a photographer and a filmer yeah. for a spot that you're kind of scared of because then you're like, okay, I'm you obligated now. Yeah. Now I yeah. got to try. Yeah. Yeah. I was never good at jumping down onto the flat ground. I feel like you have to be good at that to to be good at jumping gaps because like you said it was only 10 tries but 10 tries of me jumping down 10 stairs no. yeah and landing on my feet it would be it would not be good right so you have always had a way with that because it's a yeah it i a, guess so yeah right the yeah. first when you jump stairs with your friends you're like man i'm that didn't hurt and it seemed like jimmy is a bit sore like and, yeah and you keep going yeah, well, you just learn how to slam, you know. Okay, so you found like a you learn how to get out of a situation. In yeah. A, on so a you ramp. found a technique when you bail going down big gaps. Yeah, just like stay alive. That's all. <laughs> that's your technique. Pre preserve, preserve the limbs and stay alive. Yeah. yeah. Is there like a is there a move though? Like, do you go feet to? I mean, hip yeah, or? yeah. You just like. Do you use your hands? Impact and move. I don't know what it, it's like. A slam. You're not coming to a stop. Yeah, no. Yeah, I coming like to a that's, stop, you're bruising like your heel. I feel like that's the big Yeah, the you're hurting yourself. Is that we want to come to a stop. Yeah. And You got to go with you it. You got to keep the momentum going. Yeah. Exactly. You got to put the energy. You got to like displace the energy. Yeah. You know, so it's like you move with it. Interesting. I could have used your advice so long ago. Yeah, it is way too hey, late. Better late than never, guys. <laughs> I didn't have it. I think even if I'm like, oh, that's what you do, I'm going to get destroyed. Yeah, no, it's not even a thing you can tell, really. It's yeah. just like it's something you learn, you know? You learn it when you're a little child. and. But but it's funny when you, you grow up, you know, in, in my generation and his to an extent was you're skating pools, you're skating ramps. Yeah. And you fall by knee sliding. Yep. And then you get that so that that becomes your go to and the default yeah. that you can't get out of other situations easily. Yep. Right. Running but I feel like you've adapted very well. And not not getting out. I mean, that's that's why I stopped kind of pursuing a street career because I just kept rolling my ankles and I could I think I you had a fantastic street career. Yep. <laughs> oh talking God. ravers. Thank you. For, <laughs> wow. Right? Deep ravers. Cuts. What's the Deep others? Cuts. Feasters. Oh, feasters. Wow, thank you. That was amazing street skating. Yeah. I appreciate it. Right? Big that yellow, was the big yellow it, mustard shirt. <laughs> Switchboard 270. Yeah, it looked terrible, but it was I like amazing. It. I remember thinking, how is he doing uh, that? Thank you. Wow. Every now and then, it was, you know what? It was worth adapt. it. It was Way worth it just for that. It was when worth he it did just for like frontside blunt slides and like or, or stuff like that, where I was like, I see you're just doing the vert yeah, yeah. thing on there, but oh, then yeah. it would be like pressure flip on like yeah. real steep banks and <laughs> no, stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, Dude, how many hours? Like, how much hell were you in? Because I A know lot. vert yeah, legs. They don't want to. They don't want to do pressure flip. What's that? Yeah. No, it was it was more the not pressure flips as much. But any straight, like 360 flip, oh. you know, backside yeah. flips, we're going to be, we're going to be here a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, guys just yeah, yeah. post up. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to take a while. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, what was the <laughs> easiest flip trick for you to learn? And what was the hardest one? Oh, man. Well, I mean, you start with a kick flip. So I guess that was the easiest. Mm -hmm. And. A 360 flip has always been sort of my kryptonite. Yeah. Where oh. I've probably done, I mean, for the sake of not exaggerating or not like skimming, I think I've probably done 25 in my life. Wow. That's not a lot. 
Not a lot at all. I mean, some what people do, mean, do not 25. Skinny, like not bouncing around? No, just for or? like the sake of like not exaggerating how many I've done oh, or okay. like mm -hmm. saying like I've only done two in my life, you know? Right. Like, honestly, a honest 25. I think and I've two done of like, them are in videos, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. I think I've done like seven. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember being a kid, they repaved my street and I took a notepad out and I was just like, put a mark every time I tried 360 flip over this like tiny little gap. Yeah. And I never got the win. I used to make all really? marks. Yeah. yeah. I used to do that. One of my friends, like an older skateboarder who had been to America and was like the better guy over the shop, Gregor Rankin. He was a twisted guy, but he. Gregor? Yeah. Do you know That's Gregor? No. He rips. Uh, yeah. He really shredded, but he um, suggested, well, he told us to, that we had to make a program because he had a, the accent. But a program where you write down the tricks that you can do uh -huh. and you have to do them a certain amount of times every day. And then you have your to learn list and you have to work on that for a certain amount of time every day. Wow. And then you mark your program, your program when you program. get home. Yeah. And I used to have a program on my wall. Because I, he told you that. Yeah. Gregor. Wow. It, he sucked, but he also toughened me up and and helped me um like deal with obstacles in skateboarding because he gave it to me as raw as possible if not maybe he made it worse that he made it sound worse than what it would be so when it did get tough and things weren't like you know i was like one of the better dudes and it was we were like people were like yeah but you're a vert dude no one cares and I was. It That's didn't, so sad that happened to you guys. It wasn't that bad because I was already living in a world of hell. Because <laughs> that guy would just torment me all the time. But well. it was good for us. It made you know the the Pappas brothers were from that mental focus. He like him and Lee definitely laid down like a if you want to be real good, Lee Ralph. Yeah, you got to be serious about it. Yeah. And if it wasn't for them. We, were, you know, I, I think we still would have made it, but not as quick for sure. Wow. Or just to give you a, a perspective of if you want to get any kind of recognition, you have to get to this level. Yeah. And he also yeah. told stories of what it was like to be in America with such passion that it inspired me to want to be good enough to go to America because he made it sound like, you know, like he competed with Jeff Grosso and at Trashmore and said that. When it was time for his ride, the sound blacked out and he couldn't hear any music or any crowd. And he was, you know, and he started yeah, to get yeah. emotional about it. And I'm like uh -huh. 17 in the skate shop going, I am going to America. <laughs> I am going to black out in a contest. Like, <laughs> When did you first go to America? Uh, I think 89 or 90. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. When, when did you first um, realize that you had something? with skating or maybe some sort of recognition uh, or um, support? Well, I mean, my friends always celebrated me, but I think the moment I was like, oh, it's on was like, uh, I always, I mean, I wanted to be a pro skater, right? Mm -hmm. And I had no sort of, uh, I had like no gender hangups. Like I was like, I want to be a professional skater. But I wasn't like, you know, I want to be a professional baseball pitcher, but there's no women in the mm -hmm. Major League Baseball. So, like, that's a wrap. You know what I mean? But skateboarding didn't really have any sort of gender barriers. Mm -hmm. So I remember, like, being like, I'm going to be a pro skater. You know what I mean? And I remember when Public Domain came out. Yeah. And there was a section with Lori Rigsby. Yep. Yeah. And uh and a woman named Anita. Yep. I was a, so into Lori and, Rigsby. Really? And yep. a couple others. Yep. When I saw them skating, I was like, I can do that stuff yep. already. I was like, I can already do that. Yeah. Already I just like, never had a video you camera. Already do the tricks that you saw, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. And more. Yeah. Yeah, she wasn't that good. She was pretty hot though. Lori, Lori was good. Lori, Lori she, she used to get it on Mars. She was, she was pretty good. She's a good mini ramp skater too. So yeah, I was just trying to be funny. She's great. No, but I well, saw, but I saw she her. Was, it, these two things can exist. She can be good, and Alyssa can also be good. Yeah. Okay. Right. 
Yeah. Okay. I just want to establish that. Don't make me feel that. weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Because she was good. My friend wrote on my grip and tape. Hot, apparently. <laughs> yeah. My friend wrote on my grip tape That's with a big him, white always. marker. Uh, I love Lori Rigsby. <laughs> yeah. On my grip tape. And then we were, it was Visalia amateur contest. And we were in the same heat. <laughs> but I was so bummed out. Like I had to stand next to her. With, I'm like, this... With the board. Yeah. Wow. I'm like, she didn't say anything, but I felt bad. I was like, I'm sorry. But she was nice. Yeah. Yeah. I okay, thought so... I saw her in SF, but it wasn't her. Oh. Yeah. I think she's kind of elusive in yeah. the skate world. Yeah. Um, Skates? No, no, no. We I think we, we tried to interview her for this project and Oh really? Yeah, it wasn't like wasn't gonna Oh wow wasn't on the docket. Okay. Um but so you saw that. So then did that make you want to pursue, okay, I want to get sponsored? Yeah. It made me want to, well, in that, was it in public domain or was it ban this where there's like a, I mean, Palo Peralta, public domain and ban this was all. I, I can't tell you what's in I either knew of those at videos. That time. I know. I mean. Well, there was a, all, se there was yeah, a section where there was like together. a home video, yes. like some kids sent in yeah. their home video and they were shredding. And I was like. I need to do that. But I just had no access to a video camera. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're talking 89 or something, 90. So you were relying more on local uh, hype? Yeah. But that's when I knew, like, I don't know. I had, you know, that I was good at skateboarding. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. I see. Is when I saw that. And yeah. I was like, okay, I'm better than... Not better than that. I can do what they're doing. I'm on that level. Yeah, exactly. I'm on that level. And, so and they're then, writing free And they're writing for Powell. Yeah. Right. So I was Got like, yep. get me out of Florida yeah. now. But then the Tampa Skate Park opened. Yeah. And everyone started coming there. Yeah. So I yep. didn't really have to go far. Nice. So what yeah. was your first sponsor? Legit was Toy Machine was my yep. first sponsor. But um, there was this one summer where... You know, remember summer tour? How fun that used to be? Yeah. Pack in a van for 30 days or whatever. Live out of fucking Motel 6s and stuff. Yes. We, were in How <laughs> we were at Howard Johnson. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Um, when, when summer tour would come around and there was like, I don't know, there was a demo every weekend. Mm -hmm. Like Creature, Barker Barrett gave me a board. He gave me my first free board, awesome. Barker yeah. Barrett. Yep. He's awesome. Yeah. And then, you know, there was that toy machine demo and a girl chocolate demo and and everybody gave me a free board that summer. And that's like kind of like how Wow. So just got the pick. ball rolling to like get on the firm and yep. Lance to send me boards and and Lance sent me boards for a long time. I mean I like solid Lance, six man. months at least, you know. Yep. Lance is great. Um yeah. Tony. Yes. I have to drive to downtown San Diego to do stand up. Okay. Well, you're gonna you... do stand up? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to be a stand up comedian now. That's cool. Yeah. How ironic that I'm from San Diego and you have to leave early to go to San Diego. Yeah. You want to ride? Yeah. I'm joking. No. Are you I have gonna to leave go. us? I have to. I can't Sorry, we, we can talk about THPS a little bit. Yeah. You guys okay. got this. All right. But I love you, and it's good to see you. Again. I love you too, and yeah. it's been so long. I'm glad to see you. Come to the ramp. Okay, dude. Good luck. Thanks, Birdman. I'd say break a leg, but just break break the knock him dead. Knock him dead. There oh, you go. Thank you. Hey, what do you Thanks, give bro. us one of your jokes, real quick, though? No, it's not for the, they're they're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> they're disgusting. That's a good out for yeah. Jason right there. It was. No, I can't. They're disgusting. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go tell them elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> um. So. Uh, yeah, I wanted I wanted to talk about uh, pro skater because that was super. Let's talk about to get it. To do it, best thing ever. Um, how did you get the the call? Um, I was I went to Jamie Thomas's house and he had like a demo of it yes. in his garage PlayStation, and he was showing me and he's like, I think they want to get you involved too, and I was like, that'd be dope. And then probably within the next couple of days, Mark Waters called me and was like, hey. These people want to give you this much money. Come sign these papers and be in this video game. And I was like, yeah, I'm down. Did you have any reservations about it? No, not at all. Yeah, not one. That's I was awesome. Enthusiastic, That's to awesome. say the least. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was very excited. I mean, I you know, I got to pick the dream roster for the yeah, most part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone job. said yes except for Costin. Um, 
because was he, he was not skeptical. He was not the first one. Really? But then after it came out, he was all in. So then he was in the second one. Why did he say no? Because he just thought it was, he didn't know if it was going to be good. He didn't know if it was, you know, it was like a sellout move or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I respect his decision, but I was excited that once it came out, he came back around. Yeah. And, and was very much like, yeah, I want to be one of those. I'm sorry I didn't do it the first time. He just didn't know. I mean, I get, you know, it was, and, 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 you know, it was a big gamble. Like, I thank you guys for taking a chance on it because, it, you thought it was a gamble? No, no, no. I think it for in terms of your perspective, I was I loved it. I worked on it for at least a year, if not a year and a half. You know what I mean? Yeah. To get it to where it was, where I thought it was more authentic and uh -huh. represented skating well. And so, yeah. um, I was very proud of it. I didn't know if it was going to do well, or if everyone else, like you, would say, "I don't know if this is how we want to be represented." Do you know? What right, I mean? right, right, right. Oh, I thought it worked out perfectly. Yeah, no, I mean... The, you know, I mean, the music, just, yeah. like, everything about it was great. Do you remember... Wasn't it, like, um, the best-selling game or something? Like, it did very well. Yes. Yeah, it was... It was was uh, it, like, the greatest-selling game of all time? What, moment, no, not of all time. Still? But, um, but definitely... I mean, what at one point, the, at one point one the, the first one... The first three were out and still top ten sellers... And then the fourth one came out. And then that got in the top 10. So at one point, there was four out of the top 10 games were, being sold. Were your games? Yeah, That's it was crazy. Um, but it was, I was just, you know, a lot of people uh, that I've known growing up now, a new generation, uh, especially of women, that they skate and they're like, well, yeah, because well, this was in the game. Oh, and yeah. And I picked her as a character and that was it. Yeah. That's so. cool. Thank you. <laughs> oh, formerly, just, thank you. Did formally, you, did thank you, you. like... Um, like picking your own tricks and all that. Yeah, that was kind of cool to like, I mean, I didn't really have anything, you know, in mind. Mm -hmm. I forget what mine were. I think maybe a primo grind or then like maybe like a judo to Madonna. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that my specials? I don't remember. Something like that. But it, it might have been just more like, we have all these that we're going to do. Yeah, maybe Choose that your was weapon. it. Yeah, maybe yeah. that was it. I mean, only a few were very it's so long ago. Only already. a few were very specific to that rider, <laughs> like Chad. Yeah, you know what was his? Uh, well, like a ghetto the, blaster yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah the right? Did he have a crooked grind with ghetto blaster? Yeah, maybe. It's so lame. They can't remember all the names. Yeah, and yeah, I don't know. Had the, Costin had the Fandango, of course. Yeah, yeah. So it was like his ridiculous fantasy trick yeah yeah <laughs> yeah no that was great yeah well, ask me more about it yeah i was more curious about the beginnings for you because right. i was so caught up in the development of it uh -huh. that when i put names out for other characters it was kind of like yeah this was this is this is my list go ask i guess yeah yeah you know i wasn't doing that myself uh -huh. um because i wanted to you know it's got to be more as far as i was concerned it's got to be more legit coming from this and and making you guys yeah like, yeah and and being a substantial offer yeah um yeah we were uncharted you know there was totally. no, nothing to go by yeah yeah it's funny though because um you probably don't know this well maybe you do because you were in the later games but they completely changed the structure of the deals including mine later on because they had made all these all those markers for you guys to to make more money if it sold well. Yeah, and it did. And it did. <laughs> yeah. I remember getting some yeah. serious checks yeah. like, "Whoa." But yeah, then towards like maybe like 4 or underground, it was just like base fee. Yeah, it was a little no more restructured. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. But, and but it those, was like but, still yeah, it was like, days. okay, you know, but whew, remember, those first couple yeah. was like I yeah. remember Andrew telling me the same thing where he's just like, I don't know. I, you know, I just, yeah, it was cool. If they sell over this many, then we get more money. He's like, then they just checks kept coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. I that felt like, cool. a, like well, a, I was, I was thankful that you were along for the ride. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It was awesome. Yeah. I mean, it was great. Yeah. Great things. Like... But also I think you've been a great ambassador, um, for skateboarding and, and I hope so. Because I love too. it so much, just like you. I That's mean, it. I mean, but that—that that is the proof. It's not—it's not like you set out to be a spokesperson. Yeah, trying to be an ambassador. Yeah, you no. Just did it. Yeah, and did it in a way that was authentic, core. Yeah, and resonated because the passion. 
Absolutely. And yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I was, I was yeah. very thankful that, that you were part of all that because it was just the, the right place and the right time. But, yeah. But, but all very much the right attitude. Right. Yeah. So thank yeah. you for that. And, thank you. Um, thanks for when you were doing Nar Hunter. Thanks for all the search. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All that Nar Hunter Is that stuff. over? Yeah, yeah. I no, still not at all. Leash. No, my stuff's at Baker now. Like, oh, you uh, do? You yeah, still, yeah, still just okay. like you, right? You're at Baker still? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Baker Boys. How's that work, right? How cool is that? It's that yours started, Andrew, and so then now wild. Andrew carries yours. That's great. Yeah. Flip flop. That, uh, that was- Riley, everything. <laughs> so cool. You and yeah, Andrew. So the way that happened was Baker started under our distribution brand. Yeah. Blitz. Blitz distribution, where we had um, Bird House and Flip, Flip yeah. and hookups. And then we started Baker. And then Andrew goes off to do Baker on his own, yeah. starts his own distribution. And then we close Blitz eventually. And then Birdhouse becomes one of the brands of Baker. Yeah. After my son had left Birdhouse to get on to Baker. Ride for Baker, yeah. yeah. It was a, uh, it's cool. cool. It's super cool. Super cool. Was and that now hard you have for, no was that, were, were you stoked when, when uh, Andrew won put Riley on Baker? I was, because I know Andrew wouldn't, Andrew wouldn't do that for nepotism's sake. He wouldn't right. do that yeah. for name recognition's sake. Yeah, yeah. He would only do that if he truly believed in the skills of the writer. Yeah. Do you absolutely. know what I mean? And yeah, so for absolutely. me, that was a validation of Riley's efforts and his talents. Yeah. And it wasn't, you know, there's plenty of other people that would just try to hype up his hawk name. Right. Exactly. Right? But Andrew's yeah. never doing that. No. He's doing it because he recognizes talent. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I like to think that that's what, you know, that I have an eye for talent too, in in the sense that I found Andrew to, yeah. you know, make him turn him pro. So that was really wow, cool Wow, you guys are intertwined, man. Yeah, but it, but cool. but I did. I, I felt like, oh, that's really cool. And, and Riley was, you know, he was a little sheepish to tell me that that's what he wanted to do. And I was like, that's awesome. Really? Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. That's sweet. And now he's still, still doing it killing it <laughs> he had part last year it was great oh, yeah he's working on stuff right now i'm sure everybody is gotta gotta keep it are you moving. working on any videos yeah you are yeah Sick. yeah i'm filming a baker part right now really yeah i awesome. got like a minute of footage oh my god without b-roll or anything just tricks so throw some b-roll maybe a couple slams a couple more clips i'll be good well we look forward to seeing it oh thanks well, thanks, Alyssa, for coming through. Yeah, thanks for having me. That was super fun. Um, and I guess we'll, I'll see you out on the street. No, I won't see you. I'll be driving by. You'll see me Going, walking you past you in first skin. class. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll tell you what. If that happens again, I'll swap you seats. No, you won't. <laughs> I, may, I promise you I will. All right? That's it. All right, cool. See you guys. Thanks. <laughs>